back at it again and um i came across this video and i watched probably like a minute or so of it and i was like no 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 gotta check this out with the fam all right because what is being displayed in this video here honestly is incredible and um gives a lot of hope that there are I'm not going to spoil the video, all right? Um, not going to spoil the video too much. But anyway, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, hit that subscribe button and join the family. And thank you to every single last one of you guys that have continued to share the videos. I greatly appreciate you guys. Thank you so, so much for all of the continued love and support. But anyway, with that being said, let's dive in. I don't hate liberals. I feel sad for them that they're mentally challenged. I'm Chandler Crump, and you're watching Slightly Offensive on Excluded Media. Just that opening. I don't hate them. I just feel sad for them because they're mentally challenged. Oh, man, can we get an instant replay of that, please? I don't hate liberals. I feel sad for them that they're mentally challenged. I'm Chandler Crump, and you're watching Slightly Offensive on Excluded Media. <laughs> Shout out to Slightly, uh, Slightly to Offensive. To the nation. Make sure you guys go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Original link is down below. That is divided over left and right. How do we all get along? You understand, but you don't hate. Really. That's all it takes. Because not everyone's going to think the same, and that's exactly what I'm against. I'm against groupthink. People have to understand Absolutely. that you can't hate each other for different views. What grade are you in? I'm in eighth grade. All right, eighth grade. It's an eighth grader talking like this. An eighth grader. You understand. You don't hate. Right? Um, and then you see, you know, uh, some of the videos that we've checked out from people on the left. As soon as you disagree... Oh, you're you're an ish, you're a phobe. You know they st they start losing their their minds, and yet you have this eighth grader who has a ton more sense than all of them put together. How sad is that? How sad? And you know <laughs> some of the. Some of these uh, leftist videos that I come across, sometimes I want to make a video on them, but I feel like I may get in trouble. <laughs> so I don't, because it, it, <laughs> some of the craziness and the, the, the crazy statements that they make, and we've checked out some wild videos from folks on the left. So you can imagine some videos, some other videos that I've come across and seen. I mean, just bonkers. <laughs> Maybe I'll just start uploading them to another platform or something. But anyway, let's continue on. You have a girlfriend? No. Not yet? No. Are you waiting to have a girlfriend? Uh, sure, I guess. When, when's a good age to get a girlfriend? Uh, 16, maybe, yeah. 16 or 20? 20. 20. All right, when you're 16, <laughs> when you're 16, have you thought about the politics of whether you want a conservative girl or a liberal girl? It's not really about that. It's more about being tolerant and understanding your partner and understanding that... They maybe think differently than you, but that's okay. And you guys can talk, but it shouldn't turn into an argument based on that. And if it does, it shouldn't be a toxic one. It should be a constructive one. You guys should learn from each other, understand each other, and not fight toxically with each other. It should be... You're going to save marriages. This man is the next Dr. Phil. He's literally saving marriages one at a time. If you give it, can give it... Yeah, absolutely. What he just said there made 100% sense advice to married people who are having trouble in their marriage what is your advice talk but not with uh slime think what slime but not with malice of slime what? not not with poison talk but not with poison think but not with malice are you gonna run for the presidency i sure hope so one day this is dude you're smarter Ooh. than me they call me president crump at my school really yes do, do you troll what people? Oh, all the time. My, I, I troll like my liberal teachers. They're so funny. They try to tell me about a party switch, and because I'm worried that my liberal teachers are gonna try, try to teach my classmates false fallacies, and so I, I fight back. I don't. I don't. I be respectful because I am her student, and she went through years of college. Unfortunately, it doesn't really seem like she learned anything. But despite that, I like this guy. <laughs> I 
I like this guy. He's got a great head on his shoulders. I mean, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I respect it. You know, I fight back, but I, I show a respect, which obviously you should, as you should. You know, um, we, we shouldn't be out here just, you know, completely disrespecting folks. But, you know, fight back as well. Don't just lay down and, and, and take BS. You know, he said she went to college, but unfortunately, doesn't seem like she learned anything. <laughs> eighth grader a child who who is recognizing this type of stuff i mean who you are in a world of trouble left who man could you imagine and, and then and i'll end it with this and so we can get back to the into the video could you imagine if we ended all indoctrination of students and we had classrooms filled with young with young bright individuals like this guy Mm-mm-mm. What a beautiful world. <laughs> what a beautiful world, you know? Sheesh. We get, we got to make that happen. We have to make that happen. All right? Um, One way or another. Sheesh, Louise. We got to end this indoctrination in schools. This is crazy. I definitely try to make sure that my student... Say I it. be respectful because I am Say that student, again. And she went through years of college... Unfortunately, it doesn't really seem like she learned anything, but despite that, I definitely try to make sure that my student, my, not my students, my classmates aren't uh, indoctrinated by this teacher, so I fight back against what she says sometimes, like a party switch or that. Uh, what do you know about the party switch? <coughs> I know that it didn't happen. And what, did they, what did she say happened? She said that in the 60s, uh, the ideologies and the parties swapped. Switched. Right? Swapped. It sounds like almost like a, like, a, like someone that, like complaining in a marriage saying, it's her fault, you know, it's like, she's the one who's the problem, but it's like maybe if the Democrats looked in the mirror, they would see that they just went from physical slavery to mental slavery. Exactly, that's exactly what I'm saying. Because at first, they were whipping you for not wh getting the cotton. Now they're whipping you for not being a liberal. That's right. exactly what they're doing. They call you a coon. They call you a coconut. They call you an Oreo because you think differently than how they want you to think. They I like that. I like that. Before they were whipping you for not following directions or picking cotton, and now they're whipping you for not thinking the same. It's the same exact kind of situation. Just obviously it went from physical to mental. It went from physically being hit to online being hit, right? And being canceled. I'm taking that. I'm stealing that. I like that. Because that, that makes 100% sense. 100% sense. There was no party switch. You just switched the way you did things. They realized that they couldn't shackle, you know, uh, 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 black folks from back in the day anymore. They couldn't beat them physically anymore. <clears throat> so instead, they went to shackling black people mentally. If we can't shackle you physically. Physically, we will do it mentally, which some might argue is, is just as bad, right? Um, and instead of, so they shackle you mentally instead of physically, but then also they beat you online through cancel culture, through ridicule. Instead of beating you physically, I'm going to beat you virtually. I'm going to shut down your business. This kid is on to something. This kid is on to something. Or these guys are on to something. Run that back. Please say that again. I love that. It sounds like almost like, a, like, a, like someone that, like complaining in a marriage saying, it's her fault. You know, it's like she's the one who's the problem. But it's like maybe if the Democrats looked in the mirror, they would see that they just went from physical slavery to mental slavery. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. Because at first they were whipping you for not wh getting the cotton. Now they're whipping you for not being a liberal. That's right. exactly what they're doing. They call you a coon. They call you a coconut. They call you an Oreo because you think differently than how they want you to think. They call me or they say you ain't black. White, which is a shame. <laughs> yes. They tell me I sold out to the whites. Did they ever tell you that too? Wait, what? They tell me I sold out to the whites. Remember the person of color? Oh. We got actually politically correct. We call ourselves pox. What? 
<laughs> He's so POC, confused. bro. POC. Oh, I, don't, I don't like that. Oh, I don't dude, like it doesn't matter what you don't like, man. Remember, it's because no, I'm, I'm a conservative. They don't care what I say, yeah. but I don't like. Let white people tell you as a black person <coughs> what you can think. Exactly. That's what they do, legitimately, and it's not even a joke. And you know that in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have any advice for other eighth graders who are no, they're not meme gods yet. They haven't figured out how to be master level trolls. They preach all of this love and positivity and then try to convince black people that they're beneath them. Huh? <laughs> and we've checked out a video of that where the guy, oh man, I don't remember what video that was. Um, I think it was just a random video. I don't think it was anybody's video uh, uh, specifically, like slightly offensive, Sav says, or Caitlyn Bennett or anything. As if it's more important. I just want a black person walking down the street to be treated the same way as a white person walking down the street. How long you been African American? Because you seem to know a lot more than these gentlemen about being black. <laughs> I, I live in a community with black and African American so you friends. you have black friends? I do too. But are you going to say that black people can walk down the street? Absolutely. Right. Depend, independent, right. depending on where you live. It depends on where you live. It depends on where you live. It depends on where you live. Oh, I know what's best for you because I'm I'm white and I'm a liberal. Hmm? What? Yeah. They don't know what's going on. They're not as wise as you. <clears throat> Wake up, America. Tell them right now. All right. So what you do is you ignore what the people tell you. You what you do is you find you get on your phone you get on your fight everybody everybody has one of these these days you get on your phone you get on your computer you get on your apple watch and you look up and you do that you do the research yourself and when you do the research and you find these things you will see the truth and you will see the things that the democrat party has done you will see the thing that leftists do they they want socialism they want everybody to starve on the streets because they're too lazy to do the work themselves okay so when you do this and you do the research you'll come to find that things aren't what they seem things aren't what they tell you in school and the things they tell you in school usually just aren't correct you'll understand these things and you'll you'll become like me you'll 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 think right and you'll want to help others and that's what you have to do you have to go to the other people you know once you're once you're like me once you're conservative or just not not liberal anymore once you can finally think you find other people and you do the same thing and if you do this it'll spread like a bug it'll spread like a virus but it's a good virus it's the virus of intelligence Ooh. Ooh, what a mic drop right there! Ooh, you know you just you just spread it. You just you just implant it in one person here and one person there, and it'll spread like a virus. But a good virus, the virus of intelligence. I like it. I like it. Hey, that 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 young man, he's he's intelligent beyond his years, beyond his years. Um, hopefully he's doing great still today. Um, man, wow, 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 wow. I, I, I would love to talk to the gentleman today, uh, just to see, you know, how things have been going, where he's at, you know, in terms of just his, his journey of being a black conservative. Um, that's incredible. An eighth grader. He, hey, listen, he left me with some gems. Okay. <laughs> And this is an eighth grader. I took away a whole lot from that, right? Sheesh. Absolutely, positively incredible. And it goes to show, once we end this indoctrination, that, I think, ladies and gentlemen, is kind of a glimpse of what we could be looking at. Young, intelligent folks, because... And, and, and I say intelligent because not 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 simply because they're they're you know right leaning, but also because you're ending the indoctrination and the teaching of wasteful matter in schools. So teachers will actually have to teach relevant subjects in top in topics, um, therefore further educating the actual students. So they will actually be educated not just indoctrinated with a bunch of crap and test scores are in the tank they'll actually be educated but then they'll also more than likely lean right because they'll be actually educated what a beautiful world that would be wouldn't it i think we can get there for sure i think we can definitely get there it's 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 gonna take um gonna take everyone's votes obviously 
But I, I, I do believe that we can get there. Win midterms, win 24, and we are well on our way to making that a reality. Um, ending the indoctrination and actually educating students. And I and like I said, it, it, it doesn't even have to do with, you know, infiltrating or, uh, you know, putting right leaning ideas into students heads, just the truth. And I, I feel like just injecting the truth into classrooms and actual education will just make kids lean right. It's nothing to do with indoctrinating them. I, I, I just think naturally people will begin to lean right with actual education and, you know, being taught the actual truth about things. But hey, y'all let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.